there is a dimension in the spirit it's called the dimension of superior spirits and the law that governs this dimension is love without love you cannot access it as soon as you enter that dimension what greets you from the door is the law of love but as soon as you pass love they check your praise level the bible says enter his gates with thanksgiving but enter his court with praise somebody knows the bible somewhere here do you see that church so where god is there are gates and the key to the gate is thanksgiving but beyond the gate they are caught they are called God's court so for you to access where God is you will need to switch from thanksgiving into praise uh, uh, you're not hearing me church I'm on my own right here I, are you hearing major here are you hearing major are you the Bible says the weapons of our warfare you need to know which weapon to pull at what time there are times where i pull a weapon of thanksgiving and there are times i pull a weapon of praise and there are times i pull a weapon of wisdom and there are times i pull a weapon of prayer could it be you are stuck because you have been praying where you should be praising could it be you are stuck because you were never taught the power of praise because what you think is praise is thanking God for what he has done. No, 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 no. We cannot limit praise into thanking God. When you begin to praise God, you don't praise God based on results. You praise God from within. That's why the Bible says, let everything that have breath. Meaning it does not take God to do something for you to praise God. It takes you to have breath. Junior believers will not know that it takes senior believers that's why when it comes to praise god did not give us and he never gave us a formula there is there is a what i call a spiritual formula meaning it comes back to how you interpret the formula so it cannot be mine it cannot be yours in a sense of you use my formula to praise no and that formula that's why god said the bible says make a joyful noise unto the lord and notice if you may it does not say make a holy noise but it says make a joyful noise and the word make and the word make means create draw it out of no noise is the language of god listen listen you, you are here you are here you are here watch this now you can be shouting here knowing that you are here for your mother at home knowing that you owe some institutions banks are after you people are after you and before I even declare and decree while least you are making a joyful noise the wall the wall of death will collapse the wall of diseases and sicknesses will collapse that's why the bible says ye that make mention of the name of the lord keep no silence tell your neighbor say i refuse to be silent the bible says if you don't do it he will raise stones and that is because god understands one language language of noise in the valley of the dry bones when uh, the prophet ezekiel prophesied the bible says behold there was noise in the valley why that's why the prophetic is always followed by noise and that is because noise is the language of god that's why the moment you make noise in the prophetic we begin to move 
Ah, uh, because noise is the language of God. Ah, uh, yeah. It opens dimensions. It opens portals. Somebody make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise, somebody. It's revival time. It's revival time. And you need to understand that the, there is an invitation from the civilization of the immortals from the civilization of spirits we have been invited to a higher dimension so you need to be ready yourself because it's revival time the bible says when we are out of our minds we bring glory unto god did you hear that it says when we are out of our minds we bring glory unto jehovah 